All right, so what's up, everyone? This is Ryuka here, and today I am doing a unexpected uh, recording of sorts because of what's currently going on. So um, if you have not already read by the title, which I'm pretty sure you have, some of you, um, let's talk about YouTube's broken copyright system yet again. And again and again and again because it just doesn't end so if you're a content creator on youtube there's going to be times where you are going to cross by copyright it's just bound to happen on this platform it, it just comes with the territory but before going any further just be aware there may be some language and a possible rant so um just to give a bit of a backstory here uh, i've been doing youtube for a while as a hobby that's about it a hobby and um, there's been quite a few times where the channel has been hit with copyright. Um, I say more lately than usual, which is a uh, pretty crazy. Um, I have about nine pages currently of copyright on this channel, which is nuts to me. Um, but there's, there's a lot of copyright going on. And a lot of uh, the copyright claims are being done by um, music companies that either were involved in some way with said game, being that I'm a gaming channel, I guess, um, these music companies that worked with the publishers or whatever are taking claim of the, the sound or the music, whatever the case may be, um, whether it's a Warner Brothers music group or Universal music group or whatever, or Sony, somebody's taking claim of some sort of audio um, in the live streams. And usually I don't fight those because I feel like it goes nowhere and most likely they're gonna deny my uh dispute and pro possibly hit my channel with a strike so um i don't risk fighting you know warner Bros. music group or universal and all of them because they i don't think they're gonna let go of that claim um that's just my opinion and then sometimes there'd be some of the more weirder excuse me weird kind of copyright claims whatever some capcom <laughs> which sometimes baffles me on some of the things they claim or um napco bandai or the bandai napco they claimed my uh tekken 7 live stream on the story mode which surprises me because i'm pretty sure there's a lot of people that stream that and probably didn't get claimed but hey mine's got claimed so um, by them anyways and so on and so forth so yeah it, it happens copyright claims from companies and when you get hit with a copyright claim from a company, especially one that has a lot of money, um, there's a good chance they're going to deny your dispute. It happens. Um, so I don't bother fighting it because most likely they're going to look at it like whichever way they're going to look at it as and they're going to deny my uh, claim. That's just my theory, speculation on that and opinion. Um, but then there are times when you cross by or not cross by most likely will happen you'll get hit with false copyright claims those are the ones that bother me the claims that are totally just bs and don't make any damn sense at all um people going around making false claims on your content or on your playthroughs for whatever reasons whether it's for fun or just to be an asshole there's people out there that do that and um that happens quite a bit um and if you're a content creator on YouTube, there's a good chance at some point you'll, you'll cross by something like that. So, um, outside of the nine pages of copyright craziness, um, recently I was uh, doing a playthrough of Mortal Kombat 11 Classic Tower. Um, you know, playing through each character individually, doing a playthrough, whatever. And um, when I upload these playthroughs they're private so then i could like work on the tags and stuff and once i complete that set um then i up, um not upload excuse me i make public um each video one by one or by two or whichever way um so i finish uh the the playlist the other day technically i mean until they release dlc for Mortal Kombat 11 of course but um i started from the top of the roster and worked my way down to the bottom which was a uh, century on and when I uploaded that uh, playthrough, which is private, um, I saw that I got a copyright claim. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh man, maybe it's Warner Brothers, maybe it's Netherrealm, I don't know. 
Um, but if they take claim of that, I don't think there's any way for me to fight it. So I go and check out the claim and I see that, uh, no, it wasn't neither or. It was some body. I don't know who the hell they were at the time. I still don't know who the hell they are. Um, but they claimed the plate drill century on and it's a channel named Peru 21 TV. And I'm not even going to bother pronouncing the other uh, individual. I guess they're representing them. I'm not even sure. But uh, I'm going to just call them popular. But as you can see in, in the image, whether it's now or later, you'll see. Um, just go call them popular. But anyways, they decided to uh, take claim of my play, Drew, and claim audio visual content. Complete bullshit. Um, their claim is complete bullshit. And, uh, and the reason for this is because I looked into um, who made the music for Mortal Kombat, the soundtrack. You could find all this information online or you could literally sit there at the credits in the game. You know, you could see the credits and you could see through all the names and nowhere are these individuals listed. So they're clearly making a fraudulent claim and they're claiming audiovisual on uh, the playthrough. Um, when all the audios and visuals is b done by NetherRealm and uh, Warner Brothers. I, I mean, well, NetherRealm is a part of Warner Brothers. So ha however they share that, whatever. But it, point being is that it's made by that comp you know, that company, those developers, whatever. It's made by them. It's definitely not made by, definitely not made by Peru 21 TV or uh, Popular or whoever the hell these people are. So... You know, you I go to Twitter's, and uh, not that it matters on Twitter because Twitter is just shouting to the wind. And uh, basically, put a tweet out there tagging NetherRealm, YouTube, YouTube creators, YouTube gaming, Warner Brother games, just to give them a heads up. Like, hey, these people are uh, you know going out and about claiming audiovisual on your game. You know, they they're saying that hey, you know, I used something that I didn't use because everything in that playthrough is of NetherRealms. <laughs> if I, had, it, I mean, it's it's their game, but it's me playing through it, so it's my playthrough. But still, it's there's nothing. And these people are, are clearly making a fraudulent claim. This is all fraudulent. This is a lie. They, they're bullshitting. So um, this is a bogus claim, and um, it's ridiculous because when you get false claims like this, you have to dispute them. I mean, you you can decide not to. But keep in mind, if you don't usually dispute these, what happens is, is that these people just, especially if it's a false claim, they're just going to make money on your content. So um, another thing about disputes is that when you dispute it, um, you got to put your actual name. So you're not putting your username, not the name of the channel. You're putting your actual name, you, you know, obviously the person that runs the channel. Um, or if you have a lawyer or whatever, if you want to get technical, I guess you can have a lawyer do it for you. I'm not sure how that works. But um, that I know of, though, usually it's the content creator that puts the actual information in. And um, in some ways, I feel uncomfortable with that because I don't know what this person is trying to get information wise. You know, so it's like you put your actual actual name there and whatever, and this other person sees it. But you don't know what the agenda is of that other person to begin with and why the hell they claim your content to begin with. But anyways, <laughs> when you file a dispute. Um, usually you gotta mark, check, mark one of the boxes, put explanation in if you want and file the dispute and, after, and then, you know, you put your name, whatever. And then you gotta wait 30 days usually for, uh, for them to remove the, the claim, wherever it was some sort of technical error or whatever the case is. Um, the thing that I find crazy about this claim is that it's complete bullshit. And uh, not only that, but it seems like a lot of other people out there have been going through the same issue with Peru 21 TV. Um, as you'll see in the image shortly or now, if it's um, appearing on screen, it will show something along the lines of copyrighted content game on two. <laughs> I I'm puzzled by that. And that makes no sense to me whatsoever. Um, but it is complete uh, bullshit. Copyright 
copyrighted content game on to that's just such that's so made up it's crazy that there's uh a channel out there falsely claiming content and is running with it and is possibly abusing the youtube copyright system and they're getting away with this and youtube hasn't done anything about it now i know i'm not the only one and i'll link down below in the description to a video that i saw about this because i didn't know who the hell these people were and apparently they've been doing this to other content creators mainly smaller content creators and um it's it's ridiculous plain and simple there's really no nice way to put it i mean if you want a very straightforward way it's complete bullshit that this is happening but um it doesn't surprise me either that YouTube's copyright system is a other circus and a shit show. And that's just usually how it is. I feel when it comes to small content creators, um, YouTube doesn't care. That's just my opinion. I don't think YouTube really gives a shit about small content creators at all. It's kind of like you're out there, you're thrown to the wolves. Good luck. That's pretty much how I view it. Um, I really don't think they care. I mean, even if hypothetically I had a channel of a million or two million subscribers, I still don't think they probably would care. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe bigger the audience, the more attention. But being a small content creator, I've noticed with my time being on this platform, they usually don't care. I mean, that's just what I see. So, and that's my opinion on it. But um, yeah. I was hit with a false copyright uh, claim on my video, on my playthrough. And uh, hopefully this gets lifted and uh, I go on with my day. And I could make the Century on playthrough public for those that are looking forward to it. But um, at the same time, it's, it's ridiculous that there's uh, individuals out there abusing the system. And if you're interested in that video that I was talking about, that someone was talking about this Peru 21, uh, mm, I guess somewhat better detail, I say the link will be down below in the description. I also will say, uh, share this uh, video and let others know what's going on. If you all want to uh, share this and put it out there, give it a little bit of a push or raise awareness. If not, it's okay, I don't care. But um, I definitely want to raise awareness for my end of things because I am experiencing the same problem. So if anyone else is experiencing the same problem with these people going around claiming all kinds of Mortal Kombat content and who knows what, if you are a content creator, make a video or keep trying to get YouTube's attention on Twitter. I don't know. <laughs> it's It really looks like YouTube doesn't care, though, in my opinion. It's just it's what it is. And this is irritating because this is not the first time and I highly doubt this will be the last at that. But anyways, uh, until next time, everyone, this is Ray Yuki here saying sign off.